The 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, Canada was a contentious event before it even began. Earlier that year, New Zealand's national rugby team had toured South Africa in defiance of the United Nations call for sporting embargo on the country due to its apartheid policies. When the International Olympic Committee refused their calls to ban New Zealand from competing in that year's Games, 29 countries, most of them African, withdrew from the Olympics in response. Meanwhile, Taiwan, officially known as the Republic of China, also withdrew from 1976 Games when the Canadian government refused to allow the country to compete as the Republic of China. Since it recognized China, officially known as the People's Republic of China, as the only Olympic representative of any Chinese government. In the face of numerous boycotts, Sri Lanka too suddenly withdrew from the Games at the last minute, even after the country's 13 member team had flown to Montreal and the Sri Lankan flag was included in the opening ceremony. The withdrawal may have cost Sri Lanka a chance at an Olympic medal and robbed athlete SLB Rosa of what would have been the peak of his career. Rosa, who in 1975 ranked 11th in the World Championship Marathon, was due to run in the Men's Marathon event at the Olympics. Having won two gold medals in the 1974 Asian Games and being placed 4th in the Boston Marathon that same year, Rosa's chances at an Olympic medal were made even more optimistic due to the number of nations boycotting the 1976 Games. While Sri Lanka has to this day provided no official reason for the last-minute boycott, Rosa has said that Shirley Illessinger, the chief demission that year, withdrew from the Games due to a personal conflict with Rosa. According to Rosa, Illessinger sent a letter to the IOC authorities stating that Rosa should not be allowed to participate and if it did, that he would not be the Sri Lankan delegation's responsibility. Threatened with the possibility of not having a country to return if he did participate, Rosa left Montreal without ever stepping on a track and retired from local athletics in September that same year, partly as a result of his disappointment. He went on to become a citizen of the United States, where he coached cross-country and long-distance runners for 32 years before retiring in 2008. While details surrounding the 1976 boycott still remain unclear, it resulted in Sri Lanka losing out on the closest chance it had at an Olympic medal, a chance the country would not get for another 24 years.